All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Ranking, Ranking of Kings, Kings episode, episode 22. 22. Bolson and Minancho are dead. Yeah, they've, okay. been, they've been in some ways ousted from their, their seat of power here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Minancho needs to be saved. Yeah. She was kind of already in that, like, you know, beyond death kind of situation here, mm -hmm. but now her her soul is in a place of torment and suffering and pain yep. and, and, mm -hmm. and and does she deserve this? Does anyone deserve mm -hmm. that? You know, it, right. it's, 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 who's to say? She's maybe done maybe some pretty awful maybe things. some. She's done some pretty awful things. But yeah. you know, but Boji Boji's a good boy and right. he and he believes in the in the heart of people that lie within all that pain and and hurt and everything that they carry with them that makes them do sometimes some pretty stupid things, you know? Yeah. But how do you how do you solve this situation? Like, do you just like yeah. poke through the belly of the demon, or like, you know, what do you do? Do you, do you befriend make the a demon? Deal? Do you maybe do you befriend mm -hmm. them? Yeah. No. Do you do what you, do you find do? do you find some kind of weird alternative path? Do you talk with your late father through some means to try and like no. figure something out with this all thing? He's off vacationing in his favorite American city, Boston. Right. Yes. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Like, this better have been at least nominated for, like, best OP oh, yeah. of, like, the year this came out. It really doesn't make like, sense that this OP is just this amazing. Right. It's the whole thing where, like, you watch Vinland Saga, right? Mm -hmm. And both OPs slap. Yeah. Like, they're amazing. They're both for very different reasons, though. Yes. One, the song is really good in the first one. Mm -hmm. The second one, the song is good too, but it's the combination with the visuals and mm -hmm. everything too. Right. Oh, the stuff with the fathers and everything. Oh, yeah. Like this one has that with... Has just, that same... Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. I believe, I believe there might even be some crossover with like potentially some people that were involved in it because it was both Studio Wit, you know, so oh, anime. Oh, sure. At, at the time, obviously. Mm -hmm. Vinland Saga is now in Mappa's hand. Right, but. right. Yeah. A promise to the demon. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Oh. Boz has been guiding his son yeah. while he's been inside him. Okay. <laughs> that sounds so... <laughs> sounds so bad. I don't know why, but the giant sleeping just outside just seems so comedic uh -huh. in that it's like what if you just rolled over it should be dead yeah right? yeah uh-huh but it's also the thing like if you rolled over you could break the tree you know like oh, oh no shit. no she'd been trying to kill herself and as he, a little kid and he's been just doing everything he can to keep her oh shit. wow this this show knows how to like instantly like yeah Oh. Yeah, just cry. Just you two, just cry. <laughs> okay. Damn. I was not ready for that. <laughs> you can never be too careful with this show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is why it's important to save her. Not just because he's been trying to protect and save her all this time. But because this part of her is still there. Right. Who am I, yo? Oh, that's sweet. That's the that's the Boji smile. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, some shonen shit, you know. Mm. Mm. He's helped me for all right. time. What can I do to help him? Mm -hmm. Am I a burden to him? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> so she learns the ways of her people of old. Right. Becomes a magician. Oh. Oh, yeah. So that's how he became king in the first place? He was just... Okay. Oh, shit! Wait! Oh, just fighting a god. 
But this guy's like physical. Like he's here. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like gods in this world are more like, you know, ascended humans than right. true like intangible beings, you know? Uh huh. And he lost. He lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, he survived though. Yeah. Ooh. Here we go. Uh huh. I can introduce you to an old friend of mine. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh huh. And so then he needs to find the strongest persons to have the strongest child. Oh. 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 Oh, damn. You promise? Shoot. Oh, fuck. Yep. Yep, Koji. Yep. And that's why he's still so tough and everything, is he just right. took his just ability to exert force, but not his giant's, you know, actual, mm -hmm. like, nature. So he's just a very tiny giant, basically. Yep. Oh. oh. Holy shit. Oh. At what cost? Yeah. Oh, damn. Wow. And Miranjo also used him to get vengeance on the people that killed her people. Yes. Like, yeah. like this is all a cycle of violence. Uh-huh. Yeah, you'll be reborn in Daida, mm -hmm. yeah. Ah. Wow. Okay. So in any, if anything, he maybe manipulated the situation so that Daida would care about Miranjo mm -hmm. so that he could still protect Miranjo beyond his own death. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like it's, it's understandable, but it's still, still manipulative. You know? Oh yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Okay, here we so... are. Hey, use that. Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're immune to fire damage, not lightning right. damage, bitch. Wait. Wait, wait. Oh no, oh no, it's too easy. Um. Oh. Oh! He's gonna make the deal? Oh! He's a Miranjo, yeah! Whoa. Oh. That was a do I deserve this? Oh. 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 In the red carpet treatment. Yeah, yeah. I know. Nope. <laughs> yeah. So she can learn magic to get strong enough to where she could okay. eventually undo all the. <laughs> yeah. 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 Waiting for this. Uh huh. So now her soul will go. <laughs> oh wait! Damn it! No, I wanted to make a wish too. Oh shit! But who? Who is that frozen the iceberg? <laughs> That would have been awful, though, if it's like, sure, I brought her back to life. She's still trapped in ice. Hehe. <laughs> 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 
Oh. Nice, nice. Hey, I didn't mention that part on purpose. <laughs> but, uh, oh, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, 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 maybe. Sorry, I, I, I'm processing a lot of things right now. It's not really the best time. I did I mean, not see that I mean, coming. <laughs> yeah, I did not either, but you know what? Ah, uh, uh, oh, yeah, nice. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm absolving her of all crimes, basically. Mm -hmm. We will make up. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Awesome. So I'm okay. going to essentially put Where myself and her yeah, yeah, to yeah. work to make cool. this better. There are plenty of others, and yep. I'll be all, I'll always be there in that rock, you know, six feet under. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! <laughs> you piece of shit! I love you. <laughs> yeah. Immediately putting a price on his brother's ability to rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's. Let's talk. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. That's how you can start That's paying back. That's huge. Okay. That is huge. Whoa. Mm. Build your happiness on the happiness of others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Uh, I mean, I suppose, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Look at how much he's changed. Mm -hmm. mm. But now, who becomes king, though? Who becomes king? It's not becomes, but he already is king. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true, yeah. So then Dida would be technically a prince. Uh, yeah, probably, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, we can't have war happen, so... Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, yeah. <laughs> Besides going to war? No, no but no, I was no. going to take the silver and <laughs> right, gold. Right, right. <laughs> oh. Oh, he changed his mind. Oh, no. Okay. I... Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> Now apologize to Boji. Yeah, he saved me, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my boys. Headpats. Headpats for the both of them. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it yeah, is. There, there yeah, is. yeah. I was, right. like, I was like, All you right. can't keep that! Yeah, you can't uh -huh. keep that for up, you! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Dinah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh. Young have learned, and they're gonna take us to the next. Yeah. Passes out immediately. Son, I cannot accept this. <laughs> That's also acceptable as mm -hmm. a response, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Why bring that up then? Yeah. 
interesting thing is going to be if he does this will it be kind of with the understanding that he'll probably never see his brothers again oh maybe and that's how there could be stakes to them not being able to make oaken mortal now right because that's the other question if they make oaken mortal is it that they'll get their brother back or that he'll finally be able to die mm -hmm. you know probably that they're okay with either one because oh sure it's the no he's suffering he's in pain exactly like, we need to let him die mm -hmm. like if we get him back that's just <laughs> that's just a miracle like right. that's wonderful i'll make him mortal oh he's stuffed inside a rock Ooh. yeah no then he's just <laughs> no, no, obviously they're gonna dig him out but it... <laughs> <laughs> all right that's a good way to set up a final episode yeah <sighs> this this show right. does a does a really good job of uh, yep. garnering a lot of emotion out of me, mm -hmm. and I I I am totally okay with that. There's yes. so much about these characters that is like uh, on scaffolds, on scaffolds, on scaffolds of like emotional backstory and little mm -hmm. bits of like yep. conflicting motivations and stuff like that. And yet, when they deliver that little bit of like, oh, here's just a nice quiet little moment with Bos that's. Uh, Bose and Miranjo is completely interrupted by an attempted suicide, and it's like, ah! yeah, like, it's just like yeah. an assault on your heart, and you're like, oh my god, that's why they're doing that at the beginning. It's the hey, we're going to have a pretty interesting decision made with Miranjo at the end of the episode here, mm -hmm. so we're going to make sure that you, as the viewer, are ready to have some extra empathy and sympathy for right. Miranjo here, and and it's something wow. where hey, even if some of the mechanical details of the things that happened along the path to get here might seem a bit odd, hey. We'll just lean into the emotional mm -hmm. core. context and core for what's happening, right? So that it's the yeah, it's a but, satisfying ending, you right? Know? Even if even if the how doesn't always make entirely sense, the why does. The why does, okay. and I think that's really important here because Bose as a character was probably the uh, biggest kind of complicated complicated mm -hmm. mess in the, yep. the story, and yet and yet I I'm really excited I'm really satisfied with the way they handled him in this episode because yes. of how much it ties to the Miranjo Dida situation, which mm -hmm. is very, very interesting. I've rarely seen a young character uh, basically use the proposal of marriage as a way to protect someone and also promise to someone that they're going to be there for them. Because one, right. one Dida has only known Miranjo for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. yep. But this is what's important here. It's not about necessarily the you know, perfect kind of idealized romantic partner or what have you. Nope. It's the idea that he understands that he has not just been saved physically by no longer being in the shadow or mm -hmm. what have you, in the in the darkness and stuff like that. But also, he has changed as a person. And right. that's not just him that's changed. There's all these other people around him that's changed. Mm -hmm. So he did, in some ways, the thing that Bose did all those times by basically sacrificing a lot of his individuality to take care of Miranjo. And mm -hmm. he's like, Father, I will absolutely continue that. Right. And as, you know, royalty and stuff like that, I, I do need to... There are privileges that come with my position. Right. Where, I, yeah. Yeah, I need to, mm -hmm. in some ways, I need to, in some ways, maybe make sacrifices in that little vein of power that I have to protect uh, other people. Sure. Hell, like, yeah. He might he, never be able to be king now because he's married to a 
an ex-criminal, basically, where yeah. it's the they'll be going about and doing the actual good kingly things and and royal things by serving people and sure. doing what they can yep. to bring about restoration and stuff. And, and the thing is, even even uh, even without the sympathy for mm, Miranjo, sure. yeah. This kind of decision could still theoretically be a good decision on a technical level because if you're able to basically um, bring into the fold of your family mm -hmm. a powerful magician and and an you old know, enemy and an old enemy, then hey, that's this, this is that's that, a it's like, political genius, right? That, right, exactly. From that first you know, standpoint, yeah. yeah. So so awesome, and 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 like you said, yeah, it's the way to showcase that this is not just. This is not just something that's happening in the moment. This is not just a, oh, yeah, I feel bad for you right now, it, so I'll do this, ugh. but, you know, who knows what it'll mean in the future. No, it's the, all right, through thick and thin. Yep. Yep. All and, right. And it's perfect because you can have the marriage be next episode. You mm -hmm. could have it be a year from now. You could have oh, it yeah. be five years from now. My I, point <laughs> is, is that in some ways, it doesn't matter when it is. The idea is that she made a promise to the demon, couldn't fulfill it. Mm -hmm. Bose made a promise to her. Couldn't entirely fulfill it. He gave mm -hmm. it. He gave it his best shot. Right. And what he's doing here is basically saying, "Hey, you don't have to doubt people and promises and stuff. Mm -hmm. Look at me. You've been with me for for the for the last little bit. I am going to put my everything into this promise. Yep. So let's try again. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's it's beautiful because Dida was meant to be by her own design the reincarnation resurrection vessel yeah, the sacrifice. for Bose. And now this redemptive quality has led to her being given the opportunity to find potentially even love through this oh, yeah. connection in a way that she never could have, you know, expected, foreseen or anything. I'm like when you were talking about like, oh, when will the, you know, the actual like marriage happen potentially? Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, she didn't. She didn't really give a response of yes or no. She you didn't know, say yes or no. She just right. she but, just cried because she's she's yeah. going through a lot of shit right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would love to see if we get a season two mm -hmm. of a situation where it's just like, you know, the just the awkward dynamic of the, <laughs> yeah. you know of Dida being like, hey, yeah, like them talking about it and all that stuff, yeah. being like, yeah. hey, thanks, that was really sweet, you know, uh -huh. it's cool, yeah, yeah, exactly, we're we're tight, you know, us against the world, let's do this, you know, and right. then and then you know, I don't know if any feelings would come from that, I'm, well, yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, yeah there's there's yeah. a whole couple things that go into that, but but the <laughs> idea that Miranja was saved here unequivocally, I'm not even using that word right, but uh, it, totally, she was totally yes, saved. Absolutely. Her tie to the demon, which, fun reveal, the demon grants wishes, mm -hmm. can make any kind of cost associated with it. But that was what was interesting is that the demon gave the cost after the wish was made. There was no confirmation, meaning that the demon can effectively just choose whatever he wants. Oh. But not, like, that's yeah. just a really subtle thing. But also, that... The wish is something that the demon must fulfill, cannot deny it, basically. They just choose the cost associated with it. And then also, mm. um, uh, it turns him into an ugly monster more and more right. when that he, he fulfills the wishes. the wishes. So there's a fear of, no, I don't want to be a monster. Mm -hmm. why, why are you yeah, guys always demanding things of me and trying didn't to use be me? A genie. Yeah, exactly. And, and, right. Uh, the, yeah, that 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 is a very succinct way to communicate exactly what the promise was, mm -hmm. why it was broken, yeah, and to the extent that it was broken. Right. We don't need to see all the times that she went up to uh -huh. him and and got him to do stuff for yep. her. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. There and could have been a number of times. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing quite a few times. And right? she feels guilty as fuck about it. Because of course she does. Of course she like, does. Like yeah. given what we see now mm -hmm. with the change that happens with the demon when wishes are made. Well, we don't really see much wishes, actually. Or, or much change from the wishes, Not actually. Much at all. So she probably made a lot. Mm -hmm. And so that's the explanation, potentially, of also how she got to be so ridiculously powerful, how she survived all this time. And it's still, and it's something where the, um, even if it's not the same kind of suffering, mm -hmm. right? As a result of her suffering, she then made another innocent that trusted her mm -hmm. suffer. Yeah. And not only that, she probably did it specifically for Bose, as we saw in the backstory here. A lot was kind of consistent with her, was that she did all of this believing she was helping Bose mm -hmm. attain his dream. And then, over the course of time, this leads to Bose's death. Right. And then her...
kind of supplanting his own will, but being like, no, 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 I know best once he's uh -huh. you know, yeah. dead and stuff, and then to, right. oh, I'm going to keep, you know, doing all this. Going to gonna keep this back. going. Yeah. Yeah. And which I, also is a, is a yeah. uh, fun way to showcase that um, all the times that you were helping her boss. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if it's something where that developed a dependency, mm -hmm. right, yeah. where then she doesn't actually feel like she can take care of herself, live her own life, et cetera, et cetera, because there was a time when she couldn't and she needed you, right? Right. But, you know, maybe I, that went on a bit too long. Maybe. I, I do think that there's a there's an element of this that is not um, not so... Clear not cut. so easily, yeah. It's not clear cut, mm. and that you can call it Bose's fault or Miranjo's fault. Totally, they went through some shit, and mm -hmm. I think specifically Miranjo went through some shit. Where it's the, I wouldn't blame Bose for trying to be a little bit overprotective of someone Absolutely. who's trying to yes. kill themselves as like a mm -hmm. five or six year old. Yep. yep so yep. I, I, I feel like I feel like that's one where they're trying to also add a couple exceptions to the general rules here, where it's the. No, Miranjo's case was a very specific one, and there's a lot of pain mm -hmm. and suffering there. So while her 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 growth was one almost entirely because of Bos, the fact that the demon was involved means that there were a lot of points where she was acting on her own just fine, mm -hmm. and she made those decisions not just because she was dependent on Bos, but because she herself cared about both, but was blinded to the pain that she was causing others in order to make someone right. else. Which um, is also the yeah. the perfect justification, or not justification, um, explanation for why she would have such a blind spot to the suffering that she would cause people down the road, mm -hmm. because she got an early start. Yeah, she got right. a very early where, start. Where it's regard, the, yeah, yeah it, if she gets to the point where mm -hmm. causing the suffering of the potential like one of the few friends she had you know an yeah. innocent and all of that stuff repeatedly right mm -hmm. then yeah when it comes to like oh let's just like kill people to get them out of the way there was also the possibility that she didn't do all of it herself that others knew about the demon and would try and find him and uh, go on quests yes to, that is demand wishes from him and right that is that is definitely definitely there, was, a there were years of time where you know yes years of time and and you know so the only the only uh absolute knowledge that we have of betrayals essentially is that the demon said you broke mm -hmm. your promise yeah and and i think it was that he, he broke why are you promise making that twice face? now at but least then, twice right yeah. and then um and then the fact that she brought both there which isn't technically necessarily a betrayal of the promise to not you know ask the demon for right. stuff but it's just it's the, i'll bring other people here that will right it's the uh, uh, mm. and what i love about it was the way he said don't make that face miranjo it's the don't try to act like you're feeling bad about this. Right. You, you know, know what, what you've doing. done. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what you've, you're doing and you know what you've done in mm -hmm. that it's the, it's too late for regrets. Now, right. Miranjo. Don't, don't be the person that tries to cry as they fire someone, you know, mm -hmm. like, no, 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 you're doing what you're doing. Yeah. It's Get not, it over with. It's not an emotional thing. Yeah. Stop, mm -hmm. stop waterboarding them. Just, right. just, just execute the, <laughs> the mm -hmm. thing there and get and, it done. And, well, there might have been a time where mm -hmm. I cared about the fact that you were crying. I, I don't, don't care anymore. anymore. Yeah. I miss the fact that we aren't the way we were back then. And maybe, maybe that's possible. But no, I think, I think mm -hmm. that when uh, things come and it's time to pay your dues, I'm going to collect. Gonna, I'm going to collect and you're going to suffer for what right. you did. I might save you for last. I might, you know, feed on the <laughs> other other souls you know for a bit before i get to you let you stew for yeah. a while you know but in, in some ways i really like the idea that um there's also this complication within the demon where it's the miranjo i i know what your end goal is and you might think that you have a way to save me mm. but um i'd like to see you try you know sure like it's that. the yeah there's a um there could be a level of hey now there's just consequences for your actions. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you can't you can't save scum this. You can't mm -hmm. undo this. You made a choice. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta live with it. Mm -hmm. You know, like Miranjo, like Bos is dead. I don't know. I don't know if that necessarily had anything to do with like the deals that were made. You know, maybe he just got sick or something. But at the same time, he's a giant. I don't know. I don't know why I thought of that. But you know, mm -hmm. yeah, not everything can have a happy ending. Right. Yeah. yeah. 
I think that Bolts just lived out his natural life and, you know, had, sure. like, had like a wound or something that got, mm-hmm. you know, he, he just, he yeah. lived a life of war. He, he dies. It makes sense that he dies yeah, necessarily something like that would happen. without living to his fullest extent, mm-hmm. uh, potentially. Yeah. But, um, okay. So, so, uh, we have, uh, Boji, uh, Kage, everybody all, uh, reunited. Everybody's mm-hmm. here. Healing's here. Her scene with the boys was adorable and cute I as love fuck. That. I loved how she was trying to be like, I'm the stern mother. Mm-hmm. This has all been a very trying time. And y'all yep. were doing some very reckless things today, young men. And, that, and, and you're, right. you're young men and you've yeah, done so it. much. And I, like, I, I love I yeah, that, that, that so was, much. That, I, I love that choice as for the thing that broke through her demeanor. Because, yeah. because like, showing this demeanor, mm-hmm. it shows that the healing that we saw at the beginning of the show... It's still that, her. That's still her. Mm-hmm. That's yep. still her, right? Yep. And now that Dide is back, it does potentially complicate things or whatever. Now that it's not a life or death set of situations, and you she know? she knows what Dida did. <laughs> yes, and... and yeah, and that that wasn't really brought up, but it's like you know. It, like, well, it's the it's the whole thing. Know. of There's there's a lot of you know, <laughs> there's a lot of things that are gonna need to be you know. Both, Dida will make some mistakes along the way. Yeah, like trying to kill your son. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. But but the idea that then it's the yeah. Oh, okay. Amidst that, they're growing up. They're growing up, and also they're able to handle their own stuff. Mm. I feel like this is very much the point where we had the parent actually acknowledge the coming of age and thus letting them make their own choices. I feel like there's something really powerful mm. in that healing was kind of the only parent for the two of them. And this is something that I feel like is rather the the sad thing that needs to be like acknowledged here is that Boji and Dida were kind of alone mm-hmm. and for very different kind of reasons. Dida in some ways was um, being manipulated and used by Minanjo but was being put on the pressures in that you need to become basically boss, which is impossible. He's he's not going to become boss. And right. there, there's some cool little uh, poetry in how his um, desire to protect and marry Miranjo has him in some ways becoming boss. But we can get into that. Mm-hmm. But then the other thing is that Boji, having gone through all this stuff of being the, the underdog through the story, but now coming into his own here where he's he's handled this shit. He saved Dida. He, yep. saved, mm-hmm. he saved everybody here. And then Dida going and then saving the the villain. This is the mom who comes in here. It's like execute her, like, like and, then, right. and then he's like, mother, no. Mm-hmm. In some ways, he actually has less authority here ro- ro- royally. If we go by the like, is he not like is he still paid. the king now right. or is he not? Because if he's not anymore, mm-hmm. he might end up being the king still there could because, be some interesting right, stuff he, going he on did, there he did do a successful coup so like he was coronated right right he was coronated so I, I'm I'm curious that's, that's why the next, the next episode, episode that's what the next episode is mm-hmm. going to deal with but it's interesting the idea that in some yeah. ways because of the way this whole thing worked out this might have been his last act as king theoretically sure. yeah like it's the he abdicates he gives the crown to Boji well yeah. right but, but it's the I use my power to pardon Miranjo mm-hmm. and we're going to go off and do our thing to uh right to redeem ourselves yeah and even if Boji and... becomes king she's still part of the royal family at this point right right yeah. and mm-hmm. so they're gonna have to do their own you know stuff there but it's the mother no I have I have grown you can see that I'm, I'm a different person now mm-hmm. you don't have to you don't have to cover for me here I'm not right. dependent on you I'm going to use my own power to extend a hand to Miranjo, one that she doesn't necessarily deserve and one that in some ways like i know i don't deserve to be some great person here in this right. regard i'm I, just yeah. doing the thing that my father would do because it's the right thing to do here, so you know uh, or it's the yeah whatever um f- this feels like a weird comparison and it's more of an opposite kind of a thing but mm-hmm. this it feels like the situation with Miranjo and dida um, feels like it transitioned out of a Qui Gon Anakin situation to an Obi Wan Anakin situation. Ooh, if this okay. makes sense, sure. Because even though Dida went through hell in that in that place of darkness and everything, and he changed a lot as a person, mm-hmm. there's still growth. I would say that needs to be like taken like, upon through action. Taken upon through action. Yeah. New grooves that need to be set. Right. Mm-hmm. And and I feel like that could be an awesome way in which him and Miranjo could be peers in that regard mm-hmm. because they're they have both turned over a new leaf and now it's the okay let's 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 act that out let's set those new patterns and habits and everything 
Right. That's that's why in some ways it's actually like kind of cool that their marriage can be something based around a goal, not just yeah. of taking care of each other and mm-hmm. helping reinforce the things that they've learned over the course of this chaotic process, but also then basically making a promise to everybody else that we together are going to go make a difference. And that's mm-hmm. that's just really cool. I, yeah. I, I, I really like that. And um uh then we have Dessa, who, yes, yeah. anagram for Hades here, mm-hmm. needs to, well, become a god or something. Yep. And uh, he abandons his throne. He, knowing that Oaken is not going to be saved anytime soon, nope. he changes his mind about the ranking of kings, accepts the first place ranking, knowing that, okay, this is going to be some, this is going to be some shit. And he's mm-hmm. kind of maybe, he kind of maybe suspects a little bit of like, what's going to happen so he tells his his squire here, there's no telling what might happen. You're in charge now. Kind of like, I might never be coming back. Mm-hmm. And I love how the guy's like, oh, absolutely no harm is going to come to you. And he's like, okay. that's As if I believe you. Or as if that has anything to do with what I said to this guy here. Oh, uh-huh. It's not because I think I'm going to die. It's because right. I, I know I'm probably not coming back here. Yeah. But then this thing of the, if anything, people change when they see wealth and power, or, the, or rather something beyond their imagination, that's that is um, that's a that's a fun telling of us of what the situation is when you mm-hmm. take the number one spot. But it's also mm-hmm. a potential way in which Boji is then set up to be the one who could actually become the number one ranking of kings thing, and not be influenced by all of that. Because mm-hmm. as far as like selfless characters in this show goes. Boji's number one. Boji's number one. Like, like, like there's no one. There's no question close. about it. Right. Right. Like, not even close. Like, no. Nowhere. I'm near thinking. It. I'm thinking like Kage really would probably hard. be number number two. Well, even then, I would say not Kage because of how much his thing is all about Boji, but not really for others as much. It's, yeah. It's the like, like yeah, yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Right. So. So if that ends up being the way in which then, hey, we can have the the good boy where it's the strong heart, it's the, you know, it's the courage and the, you know, all of all of that good stuff that ends up being the thing that allows him to go beyond the people that can call lightning down from the heavens and all of that kind of stuff. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. But um, fun little thing just to add that extra bit of like world building stuff involved here Mm -hmm. uh boss killed that one specific god um Uh uh-huh that was not only the one that was kind of going around doing some talking as you know physically you know incarnated being but also uh, a, a, a king theoretically yep with the crown and stuff but also then in like realms with like stars behind them and then the part where once he then makes the wish with the demon, he easily, mm-hmm. easily kills Punks this them. guy. And I love and he's that... in a different th- throne room now. Uh, yes. Meaning that this guy probably also like has some kind of domain that's more his, and maybe he, domain maybe he, well, right, but maybe he used a spell to beat you know him there where he brought him into this other thing but then it's sure. the no 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 this is where you actually are i went to your place mm-hmm. kicked your ass yep. i went up was, to olympus and, and it was easy yeah. like, and, and i love that afterwards bosa is, is in a is now granted not like lying down but he's essentially in like a fetal position right right like he's, he's hugging his legs and everything like he looks small there mm-hmm. that's the kind of thing that you would expect a child to do when they're scared mm-hmm. right yeah I also am constantly looking for connections between the ranking of kings thing and um, the gods, basically, uh-huh. and just the idea that he opened a, a third eye. Oh, uh-huh. just to me feels very much like the ah, okay. So I am a I was a human basically, right. but, but then there's I, a part of me that I glimpsed the great beyond. I touched I, eternity. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw one of the great old ones, you mm-hmm. know, and it's like okay, there you go. Like he's still a guy with a crown, basically. He mm-hmm. looks giant, right-ish, but it's not necessarily that um, he's that big of a deal. Really, just he's on on a throne. He's mm-hmm. got a son behind yep. him. He's got two guards, you know, that are very like. Look, typical human, you know, guards right, and exactly. stuff. Yeah. 
And, you know, while this might have been just art behind him, not actually the stars, and he's not, li- <laughs> yeah. you know, it just might have literally been a painting. Oh, yeah, know? no, that's just a really cool, cool cool mural that I had someone put up there. Right, right. They're not moving and stuff. Uh-huh. I, I just wanted to bring up that idea where then we see the guy who's the, ah, oh, yes, you know, you accept the ranking and stuff, and he's got the, uh, the, um, the, oh, he's got the like, cone hat. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to bring up the idea that the, it's the, oh, wait a minute. If this guy also was some kind of ascended being with a third eye, you wouldn't see it, basically. Oh, because of the, the hat thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and there's just, that part I've of I've always wondered why the hat was there other than maybe a cool design, but... And I'm know. curious if this is relevant at all, but conical hats, you know, like, the, it's, the, it's the dunce. It's hat. the dunce you know, hat, it's, yeah. it's the, this person is a fool, you know? Oh. Like... Like, so to take uh, take truth from this person, you must be the fool. Who, who's who's the fool? The one right. who's the, the fool, or the one that follows the fool? You yeah, know, exactly. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then also the stars, you know, mm-hmm. maybe having some yep. connection to divinity of some kind. But but you know, maybe it's nothing. Maybe right? it's nothing. maybe maybe the cone hat is just because it looks cool. Why not? You yeah. know. But all right, that's uh, the penultimate episode. Mm-hmm. Next episode's gonna be the finale. All right. Very, very excited for that. Yes. Um, But yeah, everyone's together. Let's Mm -hmm. have a good, happy ending. Yes. And have no conflict shenanigans other than Mm -hmm. maybe uh, maybe, maybe teasing what happened with Dessa, you know? Oh, sure. I was going to say the conflict of how much they care about each other. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Boji will be crowned king. Right. Mm -hmm. That's happening. Yes. So, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, or semblance of sanity, I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.